Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click that like button to help spread the word about Watch Jojo, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. This couple got married in a truly one of a kind way, and the reason why is beautiful. Christy Stratton dabbed her eyes while she and her soon to be husband, Jim Larson, listened to the pastor speak. A captive audience sat behind them watching the happy couple stand together and go on to recite their vows, although most of them hadn't even anticipated being at a wedding that day. Then, after the couple exchanged rings, it became official. The two were wed and sealed the deal with a kiss. The seated guests, meanwhile, cheered and blew bubbles to celebrate as the official introduced Mr. and Mrs. Jim and Christy Larson to them all. All the while, Christy's mother, Billy Jo Stimmel, a corsage pinned to her jacket, watched as one of her wishes came true. In fact, Billy Jo was the inspiration for the unique and beautiful circumstances of this wedding, a wedding that passed, one might say, with flying colors. Christy had met Jim six years ago, and almost by chance. She works as a flight attendant for Alaska Airlines and first encountered her future spouse during a layover flight from LA to Seattle. That initial meeting blossomed into a romance, and the two would go on to eventually set up home in Washington State's largest city. Those happy circumstances, however, were tempered by tragedy. In September 2014, Billy Joe learned that she had stage 4 lung cancer, the most advanced form of that disease. Perhaps then that diagnosis spurred her on to ask her daughter to grant three wishes. Since Billy Joe had no chance to visit the couple in their new home, her first wish was to see that Christy lived with Jim. She wanted to come out and see where we were at because she knew I was happy out here in Seattle, Christy explained in an interview with Washington-based Fox affiliate station KCPQ. Secondly, Billy Joe wanted to see where her daughter worked, and it wouldn't have been Billy Joe's first time on a plane either. In fact, Christy's own love of travel was inspired by her globetrotting mom. And Billy Joe's third and final wish was one that, in fact, most mothers probably hope for – to see her daughter marry her soulmate. All three of these simple yet meaningful requests would go on to be fulfilled, albeit perhaps not in the way that Billy Joe was expecting. Certainly at least one of Billy Joe's desires went down well with Jim and Christy. They were more than happy to get hitched. But like many couples planning to tie the knot, they had to consider how they could make the ceremony their own, not to mention where it should be held. However, as Christy told today after the ceremony, she had an unusual idea up her sleeve. And by carrying that plan out, it was possible to successfully grant all three of her mother's wishes virtually in one fell swoop. After getting the go-ahead from her fiancé and her employer, Christy put her plan into action. And the result was the wedding of a lifetime, one that wouldn't soon be forgotten by anyone who was there. That's because on February 19, 2016, Christy and Jim said, I do, from 35,000 feet up in the air. And those unsuspecting wedding guests were also the passengers of Alaska Airlines Flight 461, traveling appropriately from Los Angeles to Seattle. It was an ingenious decision that not only made the big day an exceptionally special one for the bride and groom, but for the bride's mother too. After all, she was getting not just one, but all three of her wishes granted. For one, Billy Joe was able to see where her daughter lived. The flight landed in Seattle after all, so it was perfectly possible for mom to visit the newlyweds home in the city for the first time and go sightseeing there. Christy's mother also got to see where her daughter carried out her job, although obviously it had proved to be a far from normal workday. And lastly, of course, Billy Joe was able to watch her daughter marry her intended in a truly one of a kind event. It wouldn't have been an event that the majority of the passengers on flight 461 were expecting beforehand though. Still, there were some subtle clues when they entered the plane and after that something out of the ordinary was about to take place. Bubbles and candy, after all, aren't usually given out on plane trips. Approximately 60 minutes after takeoff, though, one flight attendant took to the Tanoi to clue the passengers in. She told the story of Christy's mother and her three wishes, ending by explaining to them that one of them was to see Christy wed Jim. The moving ceremony took place, carried out by Christy's pastor and incorporating a neat air travel-related touch, as well as placing rings on each other's fingers, the couple also pinned pilot wings onto each other's clothes. What's more, Christy even wore a custom, airline-inspired pair of shoes for the occasion. The super-cute heels were designed to look just like a plane and were emblazoned with inspiring and apt written messages on their sides and heels, one of them being, love is a journey. Aww. 
and the impromptu wedding guests even made their mark on the bride as well. As Christy told today, I was really touched and overwhelmed by the amount of love and joy flooding through the cabin. Not only did they make the day even more special for me, but for my mom as well. It definitely seems then that love was in the air on Flight 461.